In this episode, I will show you how switching between cloud and on-premise storage techniques within the Blazor Plate environment takes almost zero time. Now let's go to the storage settings under the settings menu. As we can see, the storage method is currently set to on-premise. On-premise storage means your company's server is hosted within your organization's infrastructure and, in many cases, physically on-site. The server is controlled, administered, maintained, and procured by your company and its in-house IT team or an IT partner. I'm gonna leave this option as is, and then I'm gonna go to the users list to add a nice profile picture for Mandy Moore. After updating Mandy Moore's profile, I'm gonna go back to her profile picture to see where it came from by inspecting its path. As can be noted from the path of this picture, this picture is stored physically in the server where this demo application is hosted. Now, I'm gonna go back to the storage settings page to force the system to use the cloud storage method by switching to Azure Cloud Storage. Keep in mind that you can use any other cloud storage provider such as Amazon Web Services. This can be done by implementing the functionalities provided by your storage provider using storage service interface, which is referenced in the infrastructure project within the Blazor Plate solution. With cloud storage, an outside service provider, such as Microsoft Azure's, hosts your files. The cloud provider procures, installs, and maintains all hardware, software, and other supporting infrastructure in its data centers. I'm gonna go back to the users list and update Mandy Moore's profile by uploading another nice picture. Let's go back to her profile to inspect the path of the new profile picture. As we can see, the path of this picture indicates that it is stored as a binary file inside the Azure Blob container. As I mentioned before, it takes zero effort to switch between storage methods within the Blazor Plate environment. This is because Blazor Plate is smart enough to resolve the storage services dependencies in the DI container dynamically at runtime. This will keep your application up and running during switching between storage methods. Thank you for watching.